Hi everyone and welcome to another of my videos. Well, it's been a very long time since I've filmed and I actually I filmed a video a couple of weeks ago, but I tried to edit it and then I realized that there was no sound, which kind of sucks. So I'm going to do this video a little bit different. What happened is me and my best friend Valerie, she, we did this box swap and we do that two times a year. We do it on her birthday and on my birthday now in September. And I received her box a couple of weeks ago and I immediately, when I came home, um, I immediately sat down with my messy makeup and I was very tired, it was late, but I sat down and filmed the unboxing videos. The reaction that I had, guys, it was crazy. I cried in that video, I cried. And I uh, sat down to edit that video because it's going to come up soon and the same day that this video is up. And then I realized that there was no sound. No sound. And it made me almost cry again. <laughs> but this time I wasn't happy. I was disappointed. And I don't really know why there was no sound. I was really sure that everything was connected. But it is what it is. And I'm going to today to try all of these products on my face film it and I'm going to talk about the products and I'm going to insert a couple of videos from that video that I filmed when I unboxed everything so you see my reaction, you see that's for real and that I don't made this up. So <laughs> you're going to see me talking and unboxing those products. But yeah, if you're interested to see what I got and how it's going to turn out, then please keep on watching. The light is a little bit off, guys. I have my natural lights and also my ring light on right now. The problem is that uh, we are going to get our windows fixed that are in front of me. The problem is I can't have my lights up because it takes so much space and then it takes me a long time to remove it when people come to fix the windows. So I have to have as little as possible in the room so they can have uh, easy access to the windows. So that's a main reason why I haven't been filming for a couple of weeks. I came home uh, late afternoon. It's been a very bad weather. The lights was no good, so I couldn't actually film, even with my natural light. So I've been, if I have to be honest, I'm disappointed in myself, but there is a good reason why I couldn't upload as normally. But I'm back and I'm going to try to do this with its lights as much as possible and I'm going to try and film as much as possible during the weekends so I actually have the videos up for you guys but I'm not going to talk anymore I'm going to try all these products I'm very very excited about this box so uh, the first thing that I got is actually the not the first thing I don't remember how which order I opened everything but I'm going to talk about products that I've already tried I got this IG Co good behavior behavior smoothing spray and i have to be honest when i unboxed this i cried i shared it to you because i was very excited to try this this is something i heard so many people rave about and talk about and i've been using it uh, i actually use it three times now and i really love this product and it's not available here yet in my country but i heard that sephora here in sweden is going to get it soon and I'm very excited about that because this is expensive, but it's very, very good. It actually keeps my frizzy hair not so frizzy and also it's heat protecting. So I really like this product. The other product that I got from the same brand is actually something that I love a little bit more. I love that product a lot, but this is something that I, it's really... If you heard about it, that is good. It's actually that good. This is the first class charcoal detox dry shampoo. This is the best dry shampoo I've ever tried. And I've tried many, many, many dry shampoos. And this is so, so nice. It absorbs all of the oil in my hair and also doesn't leave white cast, which is the most important thing because I do have dark hair. And even if I try to remove, you know, white cast from my hair after using some dry shampoos, my hair turns kind of gray and it turns, turns a little bit dry. This actually doesn't leave white cast, 
doesn't leave my hair dry. Everything looks like I just washed my hair. Really, really like this. But I'm going to insert a short video so you can see me unboxing this product. Okay, so I also got this Age Plus Bite nighttime lip therapy. This was on my wish list. Me and Valerie, we write each other a wish list with products that we would like to receive and then uh, we try to, when we make the box for each other, we try to put some things from our wish list, but also some things that we want each other to try, something that would be a surprise. And this was definitely, except the hair shampoo and the spray that was on my wish list, this was also on my wish list. This is actually what it says to be one of the best uh, lip masks out there. I tried a couple of them and this is really, really, really good. Um, I've used it every night since I got it and I have to show you how it looks that I've used a lot It smells nice not too strong. It's very buttery though a Little goes a long way and I really like there is a spatula so you don't need to put your finger in it And I really like this. I have it over there There next to my bed and I use it every night. I also had this in the box. This is Bite Beauty Daytime Lip Balm that also was on my wish list. This I've used a couple of times. I need to show you. I kept the box, um, but it's good that I kept the box because <laughs> the video unboxing doesn't have a sound. This is so cute. I use this in the morning and I'm going to see. I don't know if you can see that I've used it. I'm going to apply a little bit on my lips. Let me have my, my mirror. Mm. It's thick, it's buttery, it's melting a little bit because it's very hot today here in, in this bedroom. But I really like this. I really, really like this. And I was so excited that I got it. We don't have Bite Beauty here in Sweden. So me receiving these products is like a dream coming true. And I love beauty products. I love makeup products. So I get very excited, very emotional because this makes me happy. These products and my friend Valerie thinking about me and getting this stuff for me made me very emotional. Guys, I had to close the window because there was a little bit too much light on this side and I looked a little bit uneven and I didn't want that. So I hope this doesn't bother you that it's a little bit dark right now, but it is what it is. I also received this Kate Somerville Gold Cream uh, Moisturizing Cleanser and Makeup Remover. Guys, I got some samples from this brand last time I got the box box from Valerie and I love those samples and I know I told her that I really really like this uh, brand and that I really wanted to try this makeup remover. Now I haven't tried it. I have to be honest that I haven't tried it because I thought that I had would have makeup on on my face when I was supposed to film this try on video. But I didn't have so I'm going to show you how it looks and I'm going to try it. Oh, it smells roses flowers. It has a strong scent to it. Let me open it. Look mm, Not not too strong, but I really love it. I haven't tried it So I'm very excited to try it and I love this brand. I think it's a very nice brand I haven't seen any products of Kate Somerville here in Sweden But I'm going to put so many on my wish list next time because I really like this brand it's very good and I hope Sweden will somehow start selling it or find it somewhere so it can be sold here. Okay, so let's go on now on the and dig into the products, try them on. The first thing I'm going to try is this e.l.f. Putty Eye, Eye Primer from Cream. This is crease and smudge proof for 12 hours. I don't know if you know, but I love trying eyeshadow primers. I have a video where I reviewed many eyeshadow primers and I'm thinking about doing that something similar with new eyeshadow primers out, out there, but we'll see. Let me know down below if you're interested to see that. But I think this is a very nice product. This was also on my wish list. It says here, amp up your eyeshadow looks with this color intensifying eye pot putty primer that locks in eyeshadow for 12 hours and crease proof wear. Infused with vegan squalon, squalon no to moisturize through the day. Apply to your eyelids with an elf eyeshadow brush or fingertips. Wear alone for a tint of color or apply 
eyeshadow on top for a vibrant long wearing look. Now I'm going to apply eyeshadow on of course because I received an eyeshadow palette but this is how the packaging looks and this is kind of remind, reminding me of the MAC paint pot that actually didn't work out for me as much as as good as many people say it is for them it actually I'm going to dry take off some excess oil I feel like my face is very oily today paint pot didn't really work out for me so I'm going to try with its thick a uh, little bit dry let's see if we can there it is oh I like oh it's thin but also maybe I should use a brush instead because it's very hard to pick it with the with the fingers because I have nails now I have to fix my nails it's not the best this is Zoeva 226 smudge brush I'm going to take that I don't have an elf brush it's definitely covering something but not as much as I as a paint pot but I don't mind because usually I use eyeshadow primers that don't have any coverage at all I'm not going to set it I usually set my makeup or eyeshadow primer but I'm not going to set it right now because uh, this is a little bit drier formula so I don't want to overdo okay let's go into the eyeshadow palette oh my god guys when i opened this eyeshadow palette i cried because i wanted this palette for so long and i thought about buying it myself for as soon as it launched but it's ordering from the website with the taxes and shipping to sweden it's almost the double price of the palette itself so i felt like I didn't want to pay more for the shipping and taxes than for the palette but so JD palette this I love Kathleen Light and Valerie loves her too she got this for herself when I saw her using this palette I was actually jealous but I'm so happy that she got this for me I got very excited I really think this palette is beautiful I think it, the colors are amazing and I'm so happy to have it in my collection. So this is how the palette looks and it looks amazing. So let's go in, let's start. Let's start, I'm not going to make this video even longer than it needs to be. So it doesn't have a mirror, which is maybe the only thing I miss. I'm going to go into this shade here that's called my precious, I think it's called this one here going to use that to kind of set the primer oh I love Colourpop eyeshadows but ordering from their website the shipping is too expensive and I do buy from their website but when I buy I try to put me and my mine and my sister's order together so we don't need to pay two times shipping and taxes so then I'm going to go in with this rose quarter, this shade here, the nude shade. And oh, everything looks very nice in the pan and it's blending really, really nice. Now this brush is Anastasia from one of the palettes and it's a little bit harsh. Maybe I should switch to another brush instead yes let's do that so I have this NYX 17 that I got from my friend Valerie last time that we did a box swap I think and it's a very nice brush what are we going to do there are two glitter shades in here that are beautiful I want to say something green but also the other shades oh my god I don't know what to do I don't know what to do I want to try this shade here gray purple shade oh, that's stunning or oh, this shade Hmm. I don't know. Ooh, duochrome. I don't know if you can see. I definitely blue. Let's go with blue. But let's go with this to to this shade. Can't rem I can't pronounce the names. I feel like this light kind of wash out the palette a little bit, but 
You've probably seen it in other videos. Oh, this is pigmented, guys. They blend very nice on top of this primer too. These two blended very nice together, very nice. So I'm going to go and take another brush. Let's go use this Anastasia again, but the other side, and I'm going to go and dip it up with this darkest shade in the palette, this blue one, Sapphire. It's very nice. I'll put that on the edge, on the uh, this part of the eye. So beautiful, such a beautiful shade. And they are bl blending very nice together, I have to be honest. I actually want to go in with this shade, uh, this shade here, that's a little bit shimmery. I'm going to go in with my finger and kind of apply it because this is very dark. I want to apply it in the here, dip up the outer corner. Oh, that's nice, that's pigmented. That's nice. So I'm going to take the brush again and kind of blend the edges. It's the brush that we used for docking up the blue one before going in with this shade, just to kind of blend the edges. And then I'm going to go in this beautiful blue, this shade here. I'm actually going to go with my pinky. Oh, that's pigmented. Beautiful shade. And these two blend very nice together. I like this a lot. Now I'm going to clean up. So, and then I'm going to take a clean small brush. I'm going to take something like this and I'm going to go in and use the shade, the first shade that we had in a crease and kind of blend the edges a little bit. And then I'm going to actually go in with this shade, Pearl, in this palette. And I want to apply this here. Oh, oh, that's that's intense. This is so beautiful. Oh, I love this. I love this. Let's fix these eyebrows before. Oh my god, I love this palette. Oh, I'm so excited to have it in my collection. Okay, then I got this pen, eyebrow pencil from Elf, and instant lift brow pencil. I don't know if you can see it. I already had this once. She sent this to me, I think, in a first box swap. And uh, I know if that was like two years ago. Uh, we've been doing this for a while and we love it. And this is in shade Natural Brown. Love this pencil. That's not exactly the same that I got last time. This is more rounded. I think the other one that I got was like a teardrop or something like that. This, the, I don't remember it being this pointy. I don't know. But let's just use it today. I'm very excited. And I think, I think the shade is, yes, the shade is also nice. It's not too warm. Not the perfect shade but I can make it work. It's a little bit lighter than I usually use for my eyebrows but it's not bad. I really like this pencil. I like Elf Pro El Elf's products for eyebrows. I received two eyeshadow primers. The one is Natural Defense Prime Oil from Physicians Formula. Love Physicians Formula. And I haven't tried this before. This looks very nice. But I also received the face primer from ELF. I think I tried mineral infused. I don't know if I had it before. I know I got rid of many of the primers and I remember trying one of the ELF primers, but I don't know if it was this one. So I'm going to use both of them actually today. This is going to blur, protect and perfect 
with ace bf15. Let's see, it looks like a very nice product. And then we have elf primer. It's liquidy. Ooh, that's. Oh, it has a nice scent like sunscreen, but not the bad sunscreen cream. Like coconut. Ooh, I like that. Look how nice shine it gives to my face. Doesn't it feels oily, but not too oily, you know? It doesn't feel bad. Oh, I like this. I like how it feels on my skin. Not bad, not bad. Like that so far. And then I'm going to go in with this elf primer that says this multi-purpose primer preps your skin and fills in fine lines. So makeup goes on evenly for long lasting matte finish. I don't know, I think I tried this, I'm not sure. And this, the one that I applied on my skin, it's very, it, my skin feels very smooth. Oh, there you go. Yeah, this is how it looks. Mm. It doesn't smell anything special. This feels like a silicone primer. It feels very nice. While this sits on, I'm going to go in with creamy gel eyeliner from the cream shop. Waterproof. I haven't heard about this brand before, I have to be honest, and I'm very excited to try something new from a, from a new brand that I haven't heard of. It says, using brush of your choice, glide, quick, dry, long-lasting, anti-flaking, too good to be too good to be true for me to eyeliner. And let's see if that's true. I'm going to use one of my favorite eyeliner brushes, and it's from Linda Halberry. It's this kind. It's very easy to use. I'm not good with eyeliners because I have very hooded eyes and I don't really see a lot with my eyes without my glasses. So applying a liner, it's uh, very hard for me. Ooh, look how cute the packaging is. Purple, love purple. This is very cute packaging. And let's see if you can see it. Metallic purple, love that. Ooh, love that. Okay. Nice, looks matte. Need to use more to actually. Oh, that's very nice. Oh, that's very nice. I don't know if you can see it, but it's so easy to use. That's a nice small wing. Okay, I won't mess with it anymore because, like I said, I'm not the best on wing liners, but it's okay. It looks okay. And I think it's working very nice. It's easy to build up, so you can go very soft, which I really like, or you could go, go and dock it up. This is a very nice formula. I haven't tried something like this before. Uh, I really like it. I really, really like it. Now you can see that I have blue page eyeshadow on it, but I, I'm really, really surprised. This is really nice eyeliner. So far, so good. Wow, guys, I'm very excited. And this dried down, the primer dried down, the oil dried down, it's, everything feels smooth. Okay, so the next thing that I got are two samples. And of course, it's not going to, going to be enough for my face, but I want to show you I know, this sample. And I also got the Becca Light Shift Brightening Concealer. And I'm going to try those. I know this is soft primer. Oh, well, I forgot to use that. Maybe we can use it. But let's go in with this. Is this a primer? It says this silk soft primer with Primer with our Skin Love Glow Nectar Brightening Hydra Complexion helps brightening and hydrate skin, fresh and plush on skin. This formula contains natural buttery hyaluronic acid and sugar refill pore refiner. So we're going to use the lightest shade on our, on my 
T-zone. That's very little. Mm -hmm, smells nice. It feels very nice. It dries down matte. Nice. Okay. I'm going to go in with the foundation and I'm going to go in with my foundation that I really love. This is the Catrice HD liquid coverage. This is, I already only have, I don't know if you can see, I don't think you can see, I only have this much left in this bottle. I'm definitely going to purchase more. This is my holy grail, my favorite foundations ever. Guys, I have to be honest, I really like, love my eye look. I know it's easy, it's simple, but I just love it. Okay, so I'm going to go in with this foundation and I have, I'm going to have it all over my face. And just spoiler alert, <laughs> I sent this foundation to Valerie and I think I sent to her a little bit lighter shade because I love this and I really wanted her to experience this foundation and think she tried it before. And you can go and use it as a light coverage, but also go and build it up and it looks on my oily, I know Valerie has dry skin, but this is very liquidy and it's nice thin formula and I think she's going to like it. So you need to watch her videos and see what she got from me and how those things are working for her. I have now this e.l.f. primer, hydrating camo primer from e.l.f. that I got and this was I think also on my wish list. I got so many stuff from my wish list. This is Fair Warm. And I got this and I can't wait to try. I heard so many good things about this concealer. So, okay. It's a giant applicator, like a tart shape tape, looks like that. Ooh, this is thick and feels very light. We are going to use it and see. I'm not going to put a lot because it feels like a high coverage concealer, satin finish. I love that. It's blending very nice. It's brightening which is very, very nice and definitely full coverage. And it's definitely full coverage. I love this concealer, really like this concealer. So I'm going to set everything and I'm going to set it with my Linda Halbert Infinity Powder. This, I didn't got any powder in this box. So I'm going to use this one and set my under eyes before everything starts creasing because my under eyes crease fast. This powder is very fine milled, but it's very, very nice. It really brightened my under eyes and it looks nice. I look a little bit flat, but we're going to fix it with some bronzer because yes, I got the bronzer and I also got the bronzer that was on my wish list. Now, the bronzer that I had on my wish list for a long time that I really wanted to try is Too Faced Chocolate Soleil. Uh, and this is a little in medium deep. And I think it's a darker shade. And I want to try the texture. Uh, they have three shades. And I think it says medium deep. So I think this is the darkest. So I'm going to go in very light, go in very light handed. But I want to see the formula on this bronzer because I've been thinking of buying this bronzer for a long time. Let's see, can we open it? No, oh, this looks nice. Doesn't look too dark or... Hmm. But it's pigmented. Oh, it smells like chocolate. It smells like chocolate. So this is BH Cosmetics number three. And I'm going to... I forgot an under eye primer from Becca. I forgot one product. So sorry guys. Mm, this smells very, very nice. It goes on so smooth. 
So I understand what people really like this bronzer. Hmm, this is how it looks. And I really like this bronzer, so I'm definitely going to use it up and buy the full size. Okay, so I forgot this product that I got Anti, uh, from Becca under eye primer. I, this was actually on my wish list and I was very happy to receive it. And now I'm kind of mad at myself that I didn't try this. I forgot. It's a very nice product. Huh. Should I remove one of the other eyes? It says here, a wake up call for tired eyes, anti fatigue under eye primer, instantly ener ener energize and rejuvenize for bright eyes, awakened effect, coverage all, all can only go so far. Gently massage this priming balm under the eyes to eliminate the appearance of eye baggage and reduce puffiness. The sheer and velvet texture effortlessly melts into the skin while a, bl a blend of botanical extract, vitamins, and peptides smooths and conditions the eye area. Perfectly prepped for correcting and concealing application so make makeup never creases or look cakey before corrector and concealer. So it's something you use before corrector and concealer thinking about removing one of the under eyes ju just to see how this is going to go. Am I going to do that? Yes. And we are going to try this just slightly to remove on the eyes. Well, that's what we are going to do. Sorry, sorry, but we are going to apply everything fast again on my eyes. Okay, bye bye makeup. Ooh, so smooth. Ooh actually removes my makeup. That's awesome. Maybe I shouldn't put this on the eyes, but under the eyes, but who cares? Let's... Oh yes. Look, it removed everything. Well, that's what happens when you forget to apply the product. So, I'm going to dry down with a tissue. And let's go with this under eye primer. We need to go with this under eye primer. Now I look crazy, I know, but I need to go because this was on my wish list and I wanted to try this for ever. So, smells really good. Oh, smells so good. I don't know, but you know what? It actually feels like it made my under eyes brighter. This is scary, guys. This feels like it did a miracle to my under eyes. Let's go with some uh, concealer. Yes, you can see difference. I think I like this primer a lot. I have to remove that part of the other eye so I can try this product because it looks very nice. So, I like that. Oh, I'm very excited about, about getting this. So, so excited, guys. And I'm inserting pictures from that video without sound so you can check out how excited actually I was to receive and open these products. Also got this duo brush on Stripley Achiever for, for eyelashes. So I'm going to go in with this one. I think this is, I don't know if this is black. Blends with black or brown lashes. So yes, I think this is a black eye, eyelash achiever. So I'm going to take a pair of lashes. I bought for me um, this pair of Whispers multi-pack because I love them in Whispers and they are also the perfect size for my eyes. And I also bought for myself this dual lash applier or applicator, not apply, applicator. And see if that makes a little bit easier application immediately. Love them in Whispers. How am I going to go like this? 
Mm, looks nice. And I'm going to apply the Duo Brush on Achiever Dark. Oh, I love this kind of applicator for the eyelash glue. I hate the squeezy bottle. Let's see. I don't know if this is making me harder to put on lashes. Let's go with usual tweezers and see if we that we make that go faster. Because the way I was applying it, it was taking too long. The applicator doesn't really work as good as I hoped it would. So beautiful, welcome back. Now, what happened actually that my card got full on my camera, so I had to remove the images to my computer. And while that was happening, I finished my makeup because there was nothing else that I haven't tried. What I have, the, the rest of my face, what I have right now, it's the Boxum uh, blush that I got from Valerie last time we did a box wall. This is wonder, Wonderlust shade. And it's a beautiful shade. It's what I have on my cheeks now. And also as a highlighter, I don't know if you can see, it's kind of natural soft highlight. I like it, but you can, of course, make it more dramatic. It's the, these bare, mil, bare, mils, no? bare Minerals Medium Invisible Glow. Uh, looks like this. And it's a very nice... I use it as a highlighter now. It's very nice, but also a little bit subtle. I don't know if you can see it. It's what I have on my cheeks, high points on my cheeks. And then I also have the lip liner that I got from Valerie when we did a box swap, I think last year. This is LA Girl Perfect Precision or something like that. It in shade, oh, what shade is it? Let's see, blushing. And also the lipstick that I have is also that I got from Valerie, it's Pepper from Bit, Bite Cosmetics. It's this small cute lipstick, it's what I have on. And it's so nice. Beautiful. Beautiful. It's beautiful, beautiful lipstick. And then to set everything, I did use my L'Oreal setting spray and that's it. That's everything. I forgot the mascara, so I'm going to do that. And I'm going to use, uh, this is Telescopic from L'Oreal. I really, really like uh, this uh, mascara. So I'm going to use uh, that to kind of marry my lashes and the falsies together. On my low lash line. We can hear my sons playing in the next room. They are kind of loud. And for my low lash line, I did went, oh now I have my low lash line. I did went with two shades. I did went with this shade here next to the low lash line. And then I did kind of blend it in together with the shade that we had in the crease. And that's everything I kind of added. So guys, that was everything. Full face or my makeup using all of the product that I got from my box swap. I really like every single product. I'm surprised how much I really like also the eyeshadow promise so far. It looks very nice. I also really, really like the gel liner. Where is it? I know where I've, I kind of applied it somewhere. There, yeah, here it is. Gel liner. It's cream, cream shop, the cream shop. I haven't heard about this brand before, guys. I don't know if you have. This is the brand. I need to check that out a little bit more because I'm really liking this. It's black and waterproof. I've been really liking this gel liner. And I also really like the bronzer. Really like the bronzer. It smells very nice. Definitely 
mm, something I need to use more of. But that was everything, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please go over and see Valerie's video. Check out what she got from me and how she likes the product. Go over and subscribe to her channel. She's amazing. I really, really love her. She's one of my best friends. We talk about everything, everything together. And also she's always there for me and we share good stuff, bad stuff. We support each other. This was definitely not our year, I have to say. Not hers and not mine. Many things got wrong and usually many things, some things go wrong with a box swap. Sometimes my box disappeared to her. This time my box took a little bit longer than usual. Sometimes uh, her box uh, that she sent to me gets lost and it takes longer time to arrive. There was, There is always a twist with these. As box swaps but at the end everything works out and now my video actually when I was unboxing everything the sound disappeared and it kind of made me sad but right now I feel like this video is even better than I thought it will be so nice please give a thumbs up guys if you like this video please don't go for don't forget to go over to Valerie's channel and check her video up thank you so much for watching Subscribe to us and I see you in my next video. Bye guys.